Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. This is my tutorial for Blue Moon written by Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart in 1934. So it's a beautiful old blues jazz song and uh, it's just a really nice one to finger pick on the ukulele so it's a bit different but unusual um, we'll have a look at the finger picking in detail we'll have a look at the chords I'll do a bit of a walk through and a bit of a demo as well we'll have a look at the layout in there as well um, so it's quite a bit to get into with this one uh, finger picking is a bit tricky with a few of the chords um, so that's the main focus I think of, uh, of learning this song so uh, here we go we'll do, do a quick uh, scan through the chords and then we'll focus on that finger picking and uh, let's get into it Okay, so we'll have a look at the chords now. Uh, first of all, uh, the first thing to note is that because we are finger picking, we've modified two of our chords for this song. So both the A minor and the F chords are slightly modified. And instead of just playing a normal A minor chord, can you hear that we've got that double A string? Because the, um, my finger's on the second fret on the G string, which turns that into an A. We're then basically duplicating on the A string what we're doing on the G string. doesn't really work very well for finger picking but if we put our third finger down on the third fret like we would for the C chord that basically turns the A string into a top C and we suddenly get a really nice arpeggio pattern for finger picking with it's the same with the F chord there's the normal F if I was to finger pick it and again you can hear that double A that doesn't really work but we put the C uh, chord position down we get that top C again So the first thing to note is the different A position, A minor position, and the different F chord position. And basically they're the normal chords, but with that added C chord position with our third finger there. So just look at those diagrams and make sure you're happy with that, because when you see the A minor and the F, that's what we need um, in the song. If you play a normal one, it's not going to sound as good because of that um, duplicating A string sound. Okay, so let's have a look at the chords, and then we're gonna have a look at how to finger pick them. So the chords are the modified A minor and the modified F, a normal C, D minor 7. Now that one, uh, you've got to squash your second finger onto the second fret on the G and the C, so it's a semi-bar. Then our first finger on the E on the first fret and our third finger on that C again on the A string on the third fret. We've also got a G7 and an F minor. Now the F minor is a bit of a fiddly one, and you've got to um, really stretch your first and second finger up to the first fret on the G and the E string. So uh, first finger on the E string on the first fret, second finger above it on the G string on the first fret, and you've got to really make sure they're in the right position. If they slide down to the second fret by mistake, because it's quite hard to keep them in that position, uh, you will find that the, the chord sounds completely wrong. So you've got to really pinch that tight and get your third finger or your little finger if you prefer, uh, but I tend to use my third finger on that A string on the third fret. Okay, those are the chords, but we need to now finger pick them. So let's look at the finger picking pattern, and then we'll practice them on each chord. So there is this uh, finger picking pattern that we are aiming for. It's a simple arpeggio and we're using our thumb, index and middle finger. And if you have a look at the finger picking diagram I've put on the sheet music, you'll see how that works. So we start with our thumb, which I've indicated in red, on the C string. Then we do our index finger and all this time we're holding down whatever chord we're playing, we're holding that down in our left hand. So playing the chords as normal, but instead of strumming them, we are finger picking them. So I'm holding down the C chord uh, to open the song, and I'm playing the C string on my thumb, E string on my index finger, G string then on my thumb, and then A string with my middle finger. Then I go backwards, so then I go G string with my thumb again, and then the E string with my index finger, and then C string with the thumb to repeat. So thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, and then it's, so it's C, E, G, A, G, E, C string, E string, G string, A string, G string, E string. So 
So that's something you need to look at really slowly and then build up over time. If you really want to do Blue Moon, but you can't manage to do that, for now you could just do Blue Moon. A sort of uh, down, down, up pattern would do it, but it works really nicely with the uh, finger picking, so it's worthwhile learning that and putting that into this one because it's a really nice skill to be developing. So just one more time on that C chord, uh, so it's uh, this, uh, calling out the names of the strings now, C, E, G, a, G, E. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. C, E, G, A, G, E, C. And then try and get into this nice lilting arpeggio pattern. That just comes with a lot of practice, so um, that's something you might need to work on before you get into this song, but you can sort of learn it through doing this song. It's a nice introductory song to a bit of finger picking. Okay, so well, let's have a quick look at the different chords with that pattern. So we've got the C, we've got the modified A minor, so I'm going to keep the C down. Let's do the F, the, the D minor 7. G7, and the F minor, now if I let my top, uh, second finger there slip down to the second fret, you'll hear the difference it makes, it, it changes the chord, so you've got to keep that second finger really tight on that top G string on the first fret and that's actually quite an awkward uh, finger position so you will find it does start to slip so just be really aware of that it's only uh, the chords only twice in the song so but that's the hard part of the song playing that F minor accurately okay so that's the chords and the finger picking let's have a quick look at a walkthrough and you'll see how it all fits together so it's going to go a little bit like this starting on the C and then we're going to go to the A minor and the F blue moon you saw me G7 standing a C low Without a G7 dream in my C to A minor to the F heart Without a G7 love of my C Oh A minor F and G7 Blue moon back to the C. Now you'll have noticed that I'll do that again. Uh, you'll notice that each where each chord is indicated, we do the finger picking arpeggio pattern once. So we do one arpeggio, and then we go on to the next chord. Okay, let's do that one more time. So it's C, A minor, F to begin with. In fact, I'll, I'll do it without saying out the chords this time, so you can see how it fits together a bit more smoothly. Blue moon. You saw me standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my home Blue moon And you can see how that fits together. I'm just going to do the ending uh, with the F minor as well, because that is quite tricky, and you can see how that fits together. Then I'll talk about the layout. Blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my So there you are, there's a bit of a walkthrough so you can see how it all fits together. I'll finish with the demo as well so you can see um, the uh, bridge in the middle and how that fits in as well. Um, but just talk about the layout for a second. It's very simple, just a couple of verses at the beginning, then a bridge, and then the final verse which has the F minor in. Um, and then it just repeats the bridge and the final verse at the end. So it's quite short, uh, but really beautiful. It's quite a slow song, so although it's quite short, it does last a few minutes. Um, and it's really just a really beautiful finger picking song on the ukulele so i'll finish now with the demo i hope you enjoy this uh, finger picking challenge and thanks for watching
And then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever hold I heard somebody whisper, please adore me And when I looked the moon had turned to gold Blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own